how are you doing? I hope you're having a good week. My name is Rebecca and I film knitting vlogs to record my last weeks in Scotland before I move back to Spain. In this video, I have recorded my last two weeks between Edinburgh and Crete where I've spent a week of holidays. Today marks the deadline of my outdoor sweater test knit. The outdoor sweater is designed by Rebecca, also known as the Crea Bea. So I thought it would be a really good idea to show in here how my last two weeks of this test knit have been and the reality of knitting towards a deadline. I also wanted to include a couple of disclaimers in this video. Testing patterns is something that I choose to do for designers that I respect and like and for garments that I am excited to knit and excited to wear. I will always put my health and well-being above anything else. If anything, I'm a big advocate for slow knitting and I think knitting for me is my creative outlet, which means it's always meant to be fun and enjoyable, even when test knitting. Secondly, I've been test knitting on and off for a year. I've only been knitting actively for two years. And in the second year, I have test knitted half or even less of what I test knitted the last year. This is because I made it my mission to only test knit garments, accessories that have a minimum of a six or seven week deadline. I just think that otherwise it would be impossible for me to maintain a good life work balance. And although I love knitting, it is not everything in my life. With all this in mind, I'm going to take you back in time, to right before I head off for that holiday in Crete. Let's just go back in time a little bit and do a little bit of a rewind, shall we? I'm sure you're going to be able to see it. So this is how far we were. All was going well. Yeah. Perfect. And then I was here, I think, around here before I took the flight. And then in that four hour flight, something happened there. And I'm sure you can see it. And then I've spent all of this time doing it and there's some mistakes because I can see them now I have to rip back to here and do this again
and we're just restarting again because well once I've reparked where the mistake was done I was unable to pick all the stitches correctly so I'm picking the slip again and it's okay things happen I really wanted to catch up, but it's been certainly not possible because that's what you do when you're going on holidays, right? So the drama of the week has been that I had to rip back an entire sleeve and I did not have much time to recover, so slowly, by night, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, I managed to pull back the sleeve to where it should be and actually decided to move to the other sleeve or my elder sweater to make it to the same um, length to where my first sleeve is. The reason why I want to do that is because I don't want to make one sleeve longer than the other. Okay, I'll catch up when I'm back in the, in the bra. Today is Wednesday. I was planning to do a whole day of knitting, but guess who made plans and had forgotten about them until she texted her friend this morning. So what we're going to do instead is get ready to go to a really cool exhibition with my friend and then grab some lunch and some coffee. And when I'm back, I'll keep on knitting. Yesterday, I didn't do much. I did everything that I had to do. I unpacked everything, and my partner did the laundry, and then I started, I just went on this journey of tidying. So today, I'm going to take the morning, it's like early afternoon free, and then I'm knitting in the evening, and hopefully I'll be finished with the decreases because once I don't have any distractions, the second sleep is going really, really, really fast. I apologize for any random noises in the kitchen, but it's where I've got <clears throat> a better lighting. So, yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with my late breakfast and get ready to go.
it's 2 p.m. and we're really happy. I am really happy because I've made it to this part in my test knit, which means I think I can finish it today. And today is Wednesday, so we can go get black today and hopefully we'll be dry for Sunday. So it's really good. I have been out and about just doing some shopping. I bought two skeins of New Lanark yarn, but they're actually not for me. They're for a friend who invited me for lunch yesterday and she's always so kind and I want to do something nice for her. So I'll go get them. It's these two yarns are from New Lanark Mills in Scotland. And they're a DK yarn and they're 90% pure new wool and 10% silk. And it has like some specks of yellow and blue. Mm. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. I really liked it and I think she would like it to like its colors. I'm gonna crack on because it's 2.24 and we're finishing the Lanark today. I'm in the middle of a move, so there are suitcases everywhere, wherever I go, so it's really impossible to find a clean background lately in this house. I'm about to weave in the ends. If you know, you know, and the rest is done. The fit, it's amazing, and it's the right length for the body for me and my taste, and it's not too cropped, it's not too long, uh, I'm a bit shorter, so it won't make me look even shorter, which is great. And I'm just really happy and I'm very excited about today. And I may take you along. We'll see what I can do going to Stockbridge. Again, favorite part of town, Dim Village. So beautiful. If you've not been in Dim Village, you want to come to Scotland and you're watching this, please. Do it and do it on a sunny day. I don't recommend it on a rainy day because it's a slippery slope otherwise. But yeah, I'm about to go and weave in my ends. I'm really surprised of the yarn that I acquired, how much I actually have used because I've got quite a lot of leftover. So my plan today is weave in the ends, do what I have to do today. And then tomorrow I'll record a little bit of a summary, including yardage, and pre-blocking measurements and post-blocking measurements although i will include those on my notes as well for the feedback and in my Ravelry page because it's this kind of details that i always find really useful when i'm looking to need a design from someone that maybe i've not needed any garment for and i always look at okay but what what do the testers say what does the actual garment look like in this size so I will provide all of that in my rubbery and I'll put it in here, I guess, tomorrow. And now I'm just gonna finish the work and enjoy the day. See you later.
Hello! Today is Tuesday and I'm here just to say that I've updated my feedback form, my rubber notes and my testnet is officially finished. I would totally recommend this sweater. It has the right amount of ease for me. The fit is spot on and also you don't use that much yardage which is the more surprising thing, right? Because if you look at the stitch, I don't know why, I assume this will be like cables and it will consume a lot of yardage. However, it's not the case. And actually, I still have quite a lot and I'm gonna send it to a friend because I can't bring this with me. We've already been through this, right? I've got one of them. And one of them, another thing that I was pleasantly surprised by, were the measurements. The sweater has not changed dramatically pre and post blocking, at least not for me. It might be due to the fact that these two yarns tend to behave in a similar way pre and post blocking. I don't find that this grows a lot. For the length, I measure them pre and post block and it almost stay the same. I think in the back maybe I win one centimeter, which was fine. And then when it went to width, I measured the chest at the highest point and the biceps as well. And I think I went overall five centimeters more, which was really good. And it's exactly what I wanted. The fit is right on point. It's not fitted, which is not what I want. And it's not too oversized. So I just don't think that a very oversized older sweater will be cute, or at least it's not my taste. I'm really happy. I wore it on Sunday, which was a delightful day and to yesterday as well I wore it to meet night. Um, but yeah, Sunday was super cool. I was really lucky and uh, Rebecca invited some of the testers that go to her meet night and live nearby, like Vanisha from The Woolly Worker, uh, to come and do the pictures for the pattern release. And I mean, it feels awkward to get your pictures taken, but Jasmine, who is her photographer, it's so lovely. We even ended up speaking Spanish because, well, she lived there, it's no Spanish, and, and it was just really nice to bond with her a little bit as well. It made the whole situation feel really relaxed and, and normal, so it, it was a really good experience, and we went to Dean Village, which is uh, one of my favorite spots in Edinburgh. And it was just the perfect weather and such a such a lovely afternoon. And to look back and think, what a nice gift as a souvenir from Edinburgh before I leave to have pictures taken in in, in the village. I'm sorry if you hear some noises. And my partner's in the house and he's just coming in and out of different rooms. And what I wanted to say was that I highly recommend the pattern. You're going to learn something new. I learned to do this type of stitch and then I also learned to do lifted increases which is a very cool way to do increases and now I am doing a lento for a friend with the lifted increases because I love them so much. I had a great experience testing this, it was not stressful, I only stressed a little bit obviously when I had to rip the whole sleeve but that was my own doing so the lesson learned here is do not need sleeves on a plane, ever. Bad idea. I'm going to enjoy my last two weeks in Scotland. Probably the next time I upload something, I'll be home already. And that's about it.